So as we may have imagined, uh, there is lots to see here and it's very beautiful. So this is part two of adventuring around the gardens of the world. So uh, please enjoy. Obviously remembering it's winter here and uh, we might need our imagination for what it may look like in the summer when uh, maybe all the spring buds have blossomed. Anyway, we're finding it really rather lovely and there's lots of little nooks and swirls and twirls that we can enjoy. Look at this, it's just glorious. Pretty good for a winter's day. Here we go. Well, we've just stumbled across the Beatles Fern Walk. So come with us, look at these beautiful ferns. Light shining on some of them. Again, this is a reminder to slow down. There's always a part of me, especially when I'm exploring somewhere new, that I want to forge ahead super quick. Oh, what's around this corner? What's here? What's here? And <laughs> when we do these Sunday strolls for you, it's a great reminder to slow down. Taking our time, drinking in all the different greens and golds and browns. Oh, this is rather lovely. Lots of pine trees all in a row, bordering the, the uh, edge of the garden. And uh, you should be sure to feel hugged by the trees. They're like centuries on 
Ordinary bark. I used to love painting the bark of trees when I was young. The different textures and colours. being protected from the wind. Feels very cozy now. And we're on another side of the lake. got here we've gone through the this is the African area hmm and uh, I do love all the different leaves on the trees this is the Podocarpus henkeli Ooh. my Latin's a bit rusty <laughs> quite soft underfoot. Oh, look at this. You see, this is what I mean. This is just like life. It's the perfect metaphor. You turn a corner and you find a giraffe. <laughs> Wonderful. Gosh, it's made out of metal. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing. Lovely sculpture. Very clever. Long legs. And that was a lovely surprise. And then when we turn around, there's a few more of these beautiful flowers. We've been having a little sniff of some of these. And uh, these are obviously at the end of their, their time, but still you can appreciate the lovely colors and the contrast in the, the purples to the greens. Look at that, there's some lovely, oh, lovely, delicate. Nature never ceases to amaze me. And this is oh, just a celebration, really. This Sunday stroll is all about celebrating the beauty around us, celebrating that which is good focusing on that it's very easy for us to lean into our well be sucked into our negativity bias look at these these are gorgeous and appreciating the change you say oh I much prefer the pink flowers to the fading flowers but it's all part of this wonderful evolution of life isn't that gorgeous? Gosh, when this is in full bloom, look how heavy this must have been with all these flowers. 
all turning now. Time to go to sleep for the winter. But I don't know, there's something so uplifting about flowers. I just love them and on this huge bush. Look at that. It's quite high up there. Lovely, lovely. So delicate, so intricate, and yet so strong. And this is what I would suggest, is what self-compassion is all about. That's what self-compassion is really, really like. Uh, there's a misconception that self-compassion is just about the softness. Just about softness, gentleness, tenderness, caring. Well, all of that is true. That is one aspect of self-compassion. Look at that bright sunshine now. We are on the road edge though. But of course, just like those really seemingly delicate flowers, they're incredibly strong. They're in incredibly resilient. We've had some really big storms in the last couple of days and yet the flowers, seemingly delicate, have survived the storm. Look, there's some more here. Look at these, they're amazing. And so remembering that, of course, there is this extraordinary uh, powerful force in self-compassion. It's that motivator, the protector, that part of us that will stand up for our best friend or any injustice in the world. That part is also the complementing aspect of self-compassion. Look at that, so lovely. And this is the interesting dance of self-compassion. We want to combine both aspects, tenderness and strength, gentleness and resilience. There's a vibrancy, um, some, inner confidence, uh, amazing uh, energy that comes with self-compassion. It's that feeling that you've got your own back. Look at this. I wonder what plant this is. Ooh, such wonderful colors and Leaves are pretty strong. Look at that centre. Ooh, fabulous. And this is, this is our opportunity on a daily basis to discover, find out what we need. Is it the tenderness? The gentle caress of patience and love, peace and quiet, or is it the vibrancy and energy of that fierce compassion that will say no to any bullying external or internal. So remember, self-compassion is way more complex and extraordinary than a simple, oh, there, there. <laughs> it's way more powerful. Well, this is rather lovely. I do believe in the power of water. And its healing qualities. I bet these are wonderful when they're flowing. And there's a lovely round one here. I think that's, we've got a lot of greenery in this. 
beautiful big and another another one here so let's take a look what have we got these gardens of sheep oh gardens of sheep love a good sheep oh look at this it's lovely looks like a giant pineapple and this is where we are this is rather lovely isn't it beautiful marble seat gardens of the world and i didn't mention didn't realize we were actually in hope yes there's a place called hope in nelson and this is the top of this south island near the top hmm, beautiful and it wouldn't be complete to have a Sunday stroll in New Zealand without some sheep. <laughs> Here we are. Having a nice wander. Little trot through the paddock. Having a nibble along the way. had fallen into the ponds. <laughs> oh, that's a relief. Oh, there's a magic button. Look at that. We've got fountains, everyone. It's like nature's singing and dancing for us. Oh, how lovely. Look at that. I was watching a really beautiful um, series of videos of water being um, splashed on and, and the wonderful shapes that were created and this reminds me of it look at this it's like a crown of water Ooh, lovely you can see the wind impacting the shape oh that's so nice Lovely, lovely, lovely. Love the sound of the slosh. And then another slightly water taking flight. A bit of flying in the breeze. Awesome. Let's go back to these wonderful clouds to complete. These look particularly gorgeous. With the sun. Woo! Absolutely lovely. And those beautiful clouds. Enjoy. Enjoy. Until next time, take good care. Lots of love. Bye.